This conference, uh, among others, I was presenting um, data on very late relapse in Hodgkin lymphoma, um, which was a retrospective analysis performed by the German Hodgkin study group in patients initially treated within our first-line trials. Can you tell us more about that? Um, basically, we tried to evaluate um, how many patients do suffer from a very late relapse, which we defined as uh, being a relapse after five years, because usually this is when you would consider a patient um, cured from the disease, since most of the relapse do occur between the first and second year. What we did is we uh, analyzed a set of more than 6,000 patients who were followed up uh, uh, very recently and we identified 169 patients suffering from a late relapse and uh, the cumulative incidence at 20 years was around um, 8% and with a standardized incident ratio compared to the German general population of about 97, which is a hundredfold increased risk of developing a second episode of Hodgkin lymphoma. And just to check, these aren't... Uh, second cancer, but they are in fact a relapse, not a secondary lesion. And this is indeed a very important point uh, because it's rather hard to distinguish whether this is a second cancer, which might be related to therapy as well, um, or whether this is a reoccurrence of the disease since the patient might have persisting disease after, after first-line treatment, or whether um, there might be a immune dysregulation which favors the development of Hodgkin. And we are trying to look into tissue samples from those patients, uh, which are analysis which um, might be done in the future, and um, yeah, we are still working on this to better identify. Were there any subsets of patients within those analyzes that had increased chances of developing relapse or recurrence? Um, when looking at risk factors for the development of a very late relapse, we found that patients with a male sex and those uh, with a nodular lymphocyte predominant subtype uh, seem to be at increased risk, which also holds true for patients uh, diagnosed with early stage favorable Hodgkin lymphoma at first diagnosis, um, compared to patients in advanced stages or early stage unfavorable Hodgkin lymphoma. And when it comes to taking this information forwards to clinics, to practitioners, how can you see that affecting standards of care with uh, surveillance or with five-year checkups? So from my point of view, it's rather um, important to just follow your patient uh, clinically, have regular appointments and um, make sure um, you are evaluating these patients for long-term toxicity of first-line treatment, which is all sorts of organ damage and second cancers. Uh, but also keep in mind that it's possible to have reoccurrence of Hodgkin lymphoma after more than five years and really um, uh, take signs uh, seriously and, and evaluate them properly to, to start adequate treatment uh, if a second uh, relapse develops. Okay, that answers all the questions I've prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, maybe just a brief comment on the, on the prognosis um, in patients with a very late uh, relapse. Um, compared to patients with early relapse, it seems that the progression-free survival after diagnosis of relapse um, is um, comparing fav favorably. So the progression-free survival is significantly better, which also holds true for the overall survival in these patients. And when looking at treatment characteristics, we found that um, they these patients with a very late relapse are often um, treated with first-line chemotherapy regimens, BACOP or APVD variants instead of high-dose chemotherapy. Um, and yeah, this is just a brief input.